Welcome to Attleboro Update. Most of us can remember where we were, what we were doing, and how we felt on September 11th, 11 years ago, as we first witnessed the World Trade Center lie in ruin. While time has passed, the deep impact of that tragic event on the lives of many in the United States and throughout the world has not been forgotten. In remembrance of the lives lost and the sacrifices made that day, the Attleboro Fire Department held a special ceremony at Fire Headquarters. We spoke with Fire Chief Scott LaChance about the importance of remembering those who were lost. When I am called to duty, God, wherever flames may rage, give me strength to save a life, whatever be its age. Help me embrace a little child before it is too late, or save an older person from the horror of that fate. Enable me to be alert and hear the weakest shout and quickly and efficiently to put the fire out. I want to fill my calling, God, and give the best in me to guard my every neighbor and protect his property. And if according to your fate, I am to lose my life, please bless with your protecting hand my children and my wife. My name is Scott Lachance. I'm the fire chief for the city of Attleboro. We just concluded our annual September 11th remembrance ceremony here at fire department headquarters. And we do this ceremony each year. It's a way that we remember um, those tragic events 11 years ago. And it's a way that the members of the fire department, the police department can get together and, and just kind of share the, the pain and, and, the, and, the, and the sorrow that we experienced on that day. Jim Timulty, a state senator uh, from Walpole, but representing uh, Attleboro in the Massachusetts State Senate. And I'm here on uh, September 11th, 11 years uh, on a Tuesday morning, remarkably similar to that uh, fateful morning where uh, our country was attacked, attacked by murderous cowards who try to end our way of life. So I think it's very important for us to pause and reflect on the sacrifice that so many made, those people who did nothing other than go to work, and as I said, were attacked. It was a symbol of our economic prosperity and freedom in a wonderful country, and they took it down and tried to take us down. And I think what happened as we pause and remember those who sacrificed their lives, and also those who, in, in going to work, ran in when everybody else was running out. And so many people perished that day, but I think what we remember is that this is a fantastic country, and the, the outswelling of grief, and also of, of spirit, of what is great about America. The flags popping up all across the country, people getting together, people donating blood, people raising money for the victims' families. It just showed that even though we were attacked, that we will not be defeated. America is very strong, has done so much for the world, and uh, may God bless those who serve us every day, men and women in the police and fire departments, those who serve us overseas, and uh, may God bless America forever. I, I think as people we tend to forget tragedies as time passes. I look back to things like Vietnam and World War I and World War II. That was before my time. So I don't have the same internal feelings about those events. And I think now, uh, after having living, living through such a tragic event as September 11th, now it's important that we take the steps to make sure our children don't ever forget that. So events like this help us as a community to remember you know, those tragic events and let us you know, not forget the sacrifices that so many people have made to ensure our way of life.